Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could sit down, have a little chat and reflection on my 2023 reading year. Over the past few days, I've collected all the data off of Storygraph, Goodreads, and on my reading journal. And I collected and put together basically all the numbers and stats that I could possibly get out of all of this information. And I thought it was really interesting. I did one of these videos for my 2022 reading year and really had a lot of fun and liked looking back on that throughout this past year. So I thought we should do it again this year. So grab a drink and let's just get right into it. Side note, if the quality is a little different, I did get a new camera. So I'm still trying to figure out all the little nooks and crannies of working with a new camera and audio and all of that stuff so please bear with me it might switch up for the next few weeks but we're gonna figure it out let me know what you guys think i do think the quality is a lot better but the audio could be better so we'll figure it out to begin in 2023 i read 120 books which was my best reading year so i read 116 in 2022 so just four more and it was a bit of a challenge because december threw me for a loop and i didn't think i was gonna make it but then i ended up just reading a lot of shorter books i have here 41,185 pages i don't even want to know how long that would take me to do or to read the longest book I read was David Copperfield by Charles Dickens and that was 957 pages which I'm a little bit surprised about. I feel like The Brothers Karamazov was longer but maybe it wasn't. Let me see actually. Oh that was only 845 pages. Wow. Okay. And then the shortest book I read was The Importance of Being Earnest, which is a play by Oscar Wilde, and that was 54 pages. My average book length that I read was 340 pages, which makes sense because if I'm not reading a long book, then the normal book count I read is probably between 300 to 400. So, And then I read quite a few different short books this year, so that probably did make that average go down. And I thought this was interesting. The average amount of days it took me to finish a book was eight days, which I'm shocked about. I feel like it should be shorter, but there are a lot of books that I take my time with where I'm reading them for like months because I read a lot of books at once. So I think that could impact the number. My average rating this year was 3.77 stars, so that's not bad, it's pretty good. And my highest rated month for books was in April, where my average rating was 4.32 stars. In April, I was on vacation and I read a lot of books and had a blast. And so I think that definitely has to do with it. My lowest rated month was July, where my average star rating was 3.28 stars which I'm shocked about. I feel like I read a lot of bad books in November too and the most read pages was in September when I read 5,206 pages. Next I have my star rating so I will put the graph here from Storygraph. Now looking at this I can say the numbers might be a little bit different because I have increase some of my ratings and decrease them after I've taken a look at all of the books that I read and like thinking about the books now. Some of them that I did like 4, 4.5, I'm like no, it is a 5 star read and then some that were like 2, 2.5, 3, I'm like rating them lower but I didn't change them because I like to stick to my initial reaction when I keep my ratings. With all that to say, I gave 0 books 1 star. I just also feel really bad giving one stars but I would say I did DNF a couple books so those would be one stars in my mind but I didn't input books that I DNF'd. I gave one book 1.5 stars and I know that book it's Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I gave five books two stars. I gave eight books 2.5 stars which is really shocking. I feel like I've finally been able to understand my rating scale better this year and I have been rating books more harshly. 
So a lot of lower ratings. I gave 24 books 3 stars, 16 books 3.5 stars, so not bad. I gave 33 books 4 stars. That's my highest rating or star rating that I gave this year, which is not shocking. I think I do read a lot of 4s. I mean, it could like be like a 3.75, a 4.25, but I'm not like super nitpicky. I usually do... 0.5s and then full stars. Then I gave seven books 4.5 stars and I gave 25 books five stars. So that is pretty impressive that the five star category is my second most rated. Not bad. Next we have the genre breakdown, which I don't think I did for last year because I started tracking my reading more diligently, like mid 2020. And then I did for the full 2023, I tracked my reading. So my top read genre was romance, not surprising. It is surprising though that the number is 56 because that means basically half of the books I read this year were romances, yet I don't think it's the category that I rated the highest. So I might have to reevaluate how much romance I read because I'm finding I'm liking them less and less, but they are like a comfort genre. So I think that's what ends up happening is if I'm stressed or I just want to have a good time, it's usually the genre I reach for, but I might have to switch that up this coming year. Next, I read 18 classics, which is the second most read genre that I read this past year, which I am so proud about because I've wanted so badly to read more classics and very hard to push myself to do so, but I feel like I've joined so many different book clubs and met so many people that also enjoy classics that I can talk to them about it, and that makes a world of a difference. Next, I read 12 Fantasies, which is also a genre that I really started reading more of this past year. Then I have read 8 Fiction, so that's like just general fiction or lit fiction, I read eight YA books. Then I read five short story collections slash plays. I kind of put them in the same category. So that's pretty cool. Then it goes a lot lower from now. Then I read three hor then I read three horrors, uh, three memoirs, two middle grades, two non-fictions, which is really, really low one sci-fi book, one manga, and one mystery thriller. Kind of interesting to see how my genre taste changes over the years. Um, I'm excited to see what happens this coming year because I feel like I started reading a lot more different genres and variety in the second half of 2023, so it's kind of exciting me to see what is gonna come in the next year. Now I want to take a look at my reading journal because I have quite a few different spreads and challenges that I put in my journal. So I wanted to talk about them and kind of reflect on them. So first I have my 2023 reading goals and I was able to accomplish most of them. There was one that I didn't accomplish at all and I think I've talked about this in prior videos, but I wanted to read five, I thought it was six, but I wrote five Polish books or books written by Polish authors, and I read zero, and I'm very upset about it, but we are moving on, we are trying again, and we will definitely read from Polish authors this year. The other goal that I didn't finish, but I kind of halfway met my goal, was reading translated works, so I read five out of ten that I wanted to read this year. So it is another goal that I set for 2024. So hopefully we'll actually get to it <laughs> in the coming year. And then the next ones I had were to read six books by Canadian authors, which I did. I think I even read more than that. I just stopped tracking after I hit the six mark. I wanted to read 10 classics, which we, as we discussed earlier, I did. Another big goal of mine was to read six big books. So I categorized this as books with 500 plus pages and I did hit this goal. So very exciting. And then 
my last goal I had here was my physical TBR. So I think first it was 45 books off my physical TBR that I wanted to read. And I hit that goal, but then I started adding more squares. And I don't know how much is in here. Maybe it's like 65 or something like that. But yeah, so I got that. Not bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but definitely is really really good and i am proud of the progress that i did make in my reading in the past year and next we have my reading tracker here so i wanted to read 120 books this year my spread on this side does have 144 little boxes because that's just how much fit on this page but i was aiming for 120 and we got to that 120 mark then we have my 23 and 2023. I think I discussed this in my 24 and 2024. Yeah, I did. Where I said I did not read seven of them. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So I did not read seven out of the 23 books. But honestly, I'm still pretty proud and pumped that I did read the other books on this list and I am still looking forward to reading the rest of them um, hopefully in 2024. Next I have my book bingo spread which I'll show you here. So I had lots of different things that I wanted to or like little prompts that I wanted to do and as you can see I did hit bingo a couple times but there are two that I didn't finish or didn't accomplish and that was Polish author and book of poems. So I did a new book bingo for my 2024 reading journal and I added those two for my book bingo spread in that one. I tried not doing the same book bingos but there are some stuff that did translate over to next year's spread. Next I have the Tipsy and Tolstoy War and Peace reading schedule and as you can see I did not finish this. I started reading War and Peace last January and it was on a roll and then I just started reading too many books at the same time and adding a lot of other big books and fell behind, caught up, fell behind. Anyways, I'm still reading it. Then right beside it, I have the Game of Tomes um, 2023 book club I read. Oh, honestly, it's not that bad. I read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of 12 books for last year. I thought it w I did worse than that, but no, I did 9 out of 12. And so the three books that I didn't read were for October, November, and December. It's just like such a busy time of year. Uh, I didn't read Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, Twelfth Night by Shakespeare, and Eugenia. I kept saying Eugene, and then I'm hearing other people say his name, and I just can't say it. But I'll I'll put a picture of the book here. It's by Pushkin. It's a book in verse, I believe. Didn't read these three. I'm hoping to read them this year, though. I really enjoyed actually most of these books, so I gave. Well, to arms four and a half stars i'm bumping it to five stars once there was a war four stars david copperfield was four stars bumping it to five stars the catcher in the rye I gave 3.5 stars the brothers karamazov my favorite book of the year five stars the stranger i gave four and a half stars orlando i gave three and a half stars the awakening i gave four and a half stars and then northanger abbey i gave four stars so nothing lower than a three and a half which is very impressive so i am still uh in this book club for this coming year then i believe i think it was in may of last year that i officially joined the hardcore literature book club ben mcavoy's book club on patreon i was following along their reading syllabus or reading book club list um for the past year or two years like on my own but he releases podcast episodes videos and all that stuff on his paid patreon page for this book club so i did make a spread of it 
and I am a little upset about how much I didn't read from this list. I was reading War and Peace, trying to catch up with that. Then I was reading The Brothers Karamazov, which was their March to April pick, so I was starting that late. Ah, kind of sucks. I do own, I think, all of the books that were a part of last year's list, so I'm hoping I can squeeze it in throughout the year, some of the books. If not, I will do it next year. Eventually, I'll get to all of them. The nice thing is that as a Patreon member, I have all the access to the back catalog and all of the videos and podcast episodes and everything like that for these books, so... If I don't get to it now, I'll have those to listen to in the future. I adore the people in it. They are amazing and so smart and so sweet and nice. And Ben honestly provides such different perspectives and meanings to books that, you know, you may not see the first time around reading it. So I love, love, love this book club. It is worth the money. It's actually, I did join Tipsy Tolst. Oh, actually, oh, I forgot to mention Tipsy Tolstoy, <laughs> The War and Peace, they switched their name to the Slavic Literature Podcast, so I did join their, uh, they don't have like a Patreon, but like their website or their subscription just this past month, um, but these are the only two that I do paid because I just love the communities, I love to support the people that are in charge, uh, Matt and Cameron for the Slavic Literature Podcast and then Ben at the Hardcore Literature Podcast. They're all fantastic. I love them. On reflecting this, I don't think I succeeded at reading everything, but of the books that I did read, a third of War and Peace, I did listen to his podcast episodes for the parts that I did read. Um, the Brothers Karamazov, Orlando, uh, the Importance of Being Earnest, and A Tale of Two Cities. So, not horrible. I'm hoping in 2024 I'll do much, much better. I think those are all the goals and reflections and stats that I had to talk about today. If you're here at the end, leave me some type of emoji, maybe like the book emoji, just so I know. <laughs> because it's just a, a lot of talking about things that I did and read in the past year. Let me know how your 2023 reading year was and what you're hoping for your 2024 reading year. I did a whole video a couple weeks ago about my goals and my intentions for my 2024 reading and I'm kind of trying to switch it up a little bit so We'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to this year. I've already had a five star for this year and it was the first book that I finished. So if that is not telling me how my reading year is going to be, I don't know what will. <laughs> Wishing you all a fantastic reading year ahead and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Happy reading. Bye. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in